everyone what's happening welcome back to another video here on dad's card shop today we've got a pretty fun mail day i've um, been collecting a little bit of the mail the last week or two just to try and uh, share with you some of the purchases trades and breaks that i've uh, participated in so i hope you enjoyed this video and our other ones uh, please give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and help us to grow our channel again we're trying to hit 100 subscribers to hit that special giveaway so hopefully we can get there pretty soon today we've got one two three four and five different lots if you will, I'm going to start with this big one. Uh, this was from a group break that I participated in uh, with a group called Restless Craft Breakers. Restless Craft Bakers. Breakers. Uh, a great Facebook group. Uh, a great guy by the name of Dune who does a fantabulous job breaking cards. Um, not out there to make a buck on everyone and, and, and really kind of, you know, get a killing, but out there to just help support the hobby. And so he's got some exceptional prices, a fun group to be a part of and break. There's also a, um, a buy, sell, trade group. So if you're looking for, for you know, a, a nice opportunity there to, you know, get into breaks, I would suggest you give Restless Craft Breakers a chance. And I'll, I'll be sure to link in the description below um, some of their information. This first lot that you're seeing me struggle to open a little bit, you can see it's kind of all Mets, um, a Mets lot. I participated in a random Topps Chrome random break. Uh, you paid a flat amount. Everybody in the break paid that same flat amount. And um, by doing so, you got one random team. And I so happened to grab and get the New York Mets. So you can see I've got some pretty nice Pete Alonzo, you know, the up-and-coming star from last year. Um, just trying to break some of these open so I can show you some of the cool cards. We're not going to go through all of these. That would take really long. Um, but just some of the cooler, nice hits. Again, Pete Alonzo, rookie card out of Chrome. Uh, a great rookie star from the year before. So that's a really, really nice card there. Got this Noah Cindergaard. These are called green parallel, green waves, which means it's going to be numbered. 56 out of 99. Uh, so that was a really nice kind of hit. And you can see one, two, three more, you know, three more Pete Alonzo rookie cards coming out of there, as well as, you know, just some random base cards that aren't valuable, but, you know, to some collectors they are. And then I also got a hit, you know, a, a patch card here for, um, uh, what is this? Gear debut, debut gear from some game used memorabilia. It's got that green flare to it again. So Daniel Murphy, and it is numbered 70 out of 99. So a couple nice little numbered cards out of that random Topps Chrome team. Again, Restless Craft ba Breakers. Restless Craft, all one word, Breakers. The guy's name is Dune, great guy. I also participated in a Pick Your Team Tops Tribute, 2020 Tops Tribute uh, with Dune and Company. Really, I, I collect brewers, all right? You know, so I got this nice Christian Yalich base card out of Tribute. But perhaps the hit, the best one that I've got so far, adding to my PC a Keston Hira autograph, numbered 16 out of 25 from Topps Tribute. Really, really, really like Keston Hira. Uh, hopefully a nice car to continue to add to my collection. I think this is about number three of Mr. Hira that I have on autographs so far. So again, another break. This one was a different break. I only got two cards in this one, um, but I really like that Keston Hira autograph. So we're gonna keep that kind of right there, center stage in the middle. All right, next purchase, next pack here. Um, was a purchase of a card off of, uh, I believe this was eBay. This was an eBay purchase. And there's some, some random cards here covering it up. But as you can see, this is another Brewers autographed, Mr. Josh Hader, coming out of Topps Gold Label. Uh, not numbered, um, but a framed. So these are a little bit more rare because it's got this gold frame around it. Out of 2019 Topps Gold Label, Josh 
hater. So another, I think this is my second hater autograph now that I've gotten. Um, again, so just adding to my personal collection of Brewers autos. You know, as you can kind of see in the background there, a lot of different Brewer autos. That's really, uh, you know, what I'm trying to collect. These cards were really just thrown in there as extra protection. All right, I'm gonna save that one for last because that was a fun, that was a fun pack. Uh, here was um, another eBay purchase. Another eBay purchase would have changed sports up on you a little bit, but this eBay purchase uh, is a rookie card right here. Greg Jennings rookie autograph numbered out of 1299. Okay. Greg Jennings. So I'm a Wisconsin guy. I collect Brewers and I collect Packers. A little bit of bucks, but not much. But I always love finding another, you know, Packer autograph that I can add to my Packers collection. Greg Jennings. Uh, this one was maybe three or four bucks. Um, found a steal for it on, on the eBay lot. All right, fourth package. Now, again, another single lot here. Um, this one might, I don't know, this one might, might be my favorite of the bunch. Um, those of you that lived in the 80s and 90s and watched the Brewers are going to know this guy pretty, pretty well. Mr. Cecil Cooper, right? First baseman, Cecil Cooper. I'm going to try and zoom in. Uh, this is a Topps archive. So what happens is that Topps buys back this card. Um, uh, this would have been an 88 tops that they decided to buy back and put into their fan favorite archives and then certified Cecil Cooper's autograph. You know, I, I remember growing up and trying to go down by the baselines and the dugouts at games and getting autographs. Now you can find them on eBay. Um, loved Cecil Cooper, loved watching him play. Now I got his autograph certified on a card. So another number three of the day to add to my... Uh, Brewers personal collection. And then last but not least, um, a nice little Facebook buy. You know, I've got some some friends of mine, some people um, that, that are always asking me, you know, isn't it a little risky buying on Facebook? Like, I know you're going to get the card. And, and, and that's a very, very true statement. You do want to make sure that you know the people you're buying from on Facebook. You know, at least when you buy on eBay, you've got some protection from eBay and goods and services of getting your money back if something's damaged or doesn't come in. But Facebook's a little bit different. You gotta trust the people. And so a lot of the, the buys that I do on Facebook are part of the groups that I'm in. This one came from a Real Breaks um, buy, sell, trade group. Real, uh, Real Breaks is another reputable um, breaking uh, company um, out of Minnesota in Lamira, Wisconsin actually with Tom. Um, and so the people that are in that group, I trust a little bit more than just random groups and so this gentleman you know saw i was trying to go for brewers and said hey what do you think about these and so this was a a nice little lot we got a jonathan vr right jonathan vr i believe this is tops high tech yep tops high tech and it is numbered out of 75 so a nice little jonathan vr auto to add to the brewers a lewis brinson rookie card from bowman's best lewis brinson Another 80s player, again, I, I love some of these buyback and throwback cards. Here is Teddy Higuera. Teddy Higuera from an 85 Topps card that Topps bought back and then stamped with the Archives fan favorites and had Teddy Higuera autograph. Again, <laughs> between Teddy Higuera and Cecil Cooper, I'm gonna have a tough time trying to pick out which one I might like best. Then we've got a little bit more Mr. Josh Hader, numbered out of 99. Triple patch, auto, Josh Hader. And then finally, one more, Keston Hira from Team USA. Uh, this would be the Collegiate National Team patch auto for Mr. Hira. Uh, this is also numbered to 199 and it comes out of year 2017. So all five of these cards, this, this was a motivated seller and all five of these cards came off of a Facebook buy at 20 bucks plus shipping, so like 25. Um, not a bad buy uh, if you really truly trust someone. And again, I'm, I'm really digging these these throwback, if you will, rebuy autos. And I always gotta love me some Keston Hira. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, hit that subscribe button for us if you're not a fan yet. Uh, we hope that we've got something that you're interested in. If you got something you think I might like or some cars that you're looking for, leave us a comment, let us know, give us a thumbs up. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again. Until next time, everyone, stay safe.